Hello there and welcome back at our favorite game Railroads Online. Today I would like to talk about two updates and one of them was in June and in July. The first update uh, there was a new improvements of gameplay and the second was similar too but I think it was more focused on aesthetics of the game. So let's begin. First of all, I would like to thank to all developers and the players that they are helping to improve the game and are building such a great game. I prepared for today some uh, topics and uh, I think I will be shortly talking about them. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, the July update brings us a maxi map where you have interactive uh, map and you can mark uh, you can mark some interesting things on that and uh, you get pretty nice design of it and of course you get a nice minimap too so you can see where are you located now and you can see your train or switches and this is the big game changer that you can uh, on a maximap you can zoom in zoom out and, and when you are zoomed in you can change the way of the switches so this is the game changer and it puts away the railroads online extended which now doesn't work anymore so yes that's the difference uh, in the July update there was a spines new spines and uh, I'm not sure that I'm happy with them and uh, in a short I will tell you why um, as you know there was some uh, free mode and precise mode the free mode you can build angles and you know you just take the rails somehow make a turn and just put it down there angling and the curves it was just uh, you know free hand so it was functional but now it has the similar way of approach uh, I say similar because now you Take, you link the track and then the track copy the ground so I, I'm not sure that this is <laughs> this is what we asked for uh, I don't think this is improvement I think this is you know worsening the building of the tracks yes it is it is bad so I, I hate it I literally hate it I think it's more downgrade than upgrade so, well, and the uh, good thing they added in the spines that you can copy and track, uh, copy paste your track. So, yes, that's really helpful, but you need to do it uh, through the circle menu, not uh, the menu uh, I got it on key binding uh, number uh, letter G. So, yes, uh, you have to go through the interactive menu. Um, Another feature that was added was snapping facilities that you can, uh, s you know, you got a track and you can uh, you can uh, put the facility on an exact right spot. So, you know, you can you can put in the sand, water tower, etc. And now I'm not sure it was in the July update, but now you can see that under the water towers there is finally something like a ground or, found or foundation. It's um, more aesthetic, but <laughs> uh, I remember every time I tried to put the uh, water tower I need to build something under there. So, so it, it isn't floating in the air. Um, another thing, a link for industries it's similar like snapping facilities but when you put industries now you get on uh, loading loading planks or loading uh, base you get there the links so you know where to put your tracks so it is again game changer and it helps a lot trust me okay um I had uh, some coupling issues uh, with previous update but now it looks like it's fixed and at the same time I had a problem with uh, FPS uh, droppage so well 
it should be now fixed in the new Ju 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 July update. Sorry. So, so this, this gets me to July update. June, July, yeah. <laughs> and, and the first thing they said they added was uh, loading screens and rights. Uh, what does it mean, loading screens? Well, every time you load your map, you see always black screen. Now, you can see their hints and tips and, of course, screenshots from the map you are loading it. So, it's nothing that helps to improve the game, but it looks great. So, why not? Uh, they also said that they uh, try to do some optimization for the game, so uh, you will get a better FPS. But uh, I think that a lot of people are still complaining about uh, low FPS and the bad optimization. Uh, the right system was specifically designed for multiplier options, so you can um, add or remove the rights for the online players. Um, I guess it was needed, I'm not sure. Um, it's been a long time since I played with someone or someone I didn't, I didn't know, so we'll see in the future. Um, the alert system, that was something that I was surprised and I turned it off. <laughs> uh, the reason why I turned it off because uh, I, I had a ton of alerts and they were saying uh, like uh, this this factory is stopped because it doesn't have wood, uh, the tender is low on water and etc. So well, it was a little bit uh, annoying to me. And the last thing that was really important it's the key binding uh, because now we couldn't drive the train while uh, you know uh, while without the UI so it was impossible task because you couldn't you know put up throttle or uh, level it up or down so that was a problem now you got all key bindings to drive the train and you can enjoy uh, while you can enjoy the game or the you know the cin cinematic view and still ride the train so yes this is much more helpful than the you know the splines that uh, copy the ground trust me so this is it uh, if you like the video, leave a like and in the end I would like to talk about uh, some of improvements that could be you know, happening in future updates. The first improvement would be if you put back the uh, free mall that we had before. The new one is bad. The second improvement could be a chat and text function. And a lot of people ask for it, really they do, <laughs> I think that that would be great. The third, I think that would be appreciated, is changing the fly mode or even deleting it from the game. I know a lot of players uh, need this you know, fly mode and I use it too, but I hate it uh, right now because it is in a really bad state and let, let me let me explain it to you uh, when you are building a track or re railing you have enabled fly mode but when you try to outrun your train or build some props you have no fly mode why i ask why i think that you should get rid of it completely or implement it in different way like uh, if I press uh, number one I get enabled fly mode if I press number two it is disabled you know and I think that this was the reason a lot of people used railroads online extended there was fast sprint and the fly mode and I use the fly mode with the props. I, you know, 
if you are building a if you are building a building <laughs> uh, you can't see over the edge or the roof where you are building it you know there is no bird view so that's why we need it and a lot of times I'm trying to do some cinematic views and uh, without this mod uh, it's hard to do so I think that you should con reconsider reconsider that and it could be helpful and I think it would make the game you know again better so this is it this is finally it uh, this is the end of the video and uh, just write me down in the comment what do you think about the updates and the thoughts I had on a future updates or what could be implemented in the game so have a nice day and I hope I will soon make video on a uh, postscriptum newly squad 44 and uh, for those who likes uh, you know medieval ga medieval games um, I was planning to comment or create a new video on Kingdom Come Deliverance number two which should be uh, uh, I think releasing uh, this year it should be released this year I guess um, I'm happy I'm happy for this game I, I I can't wait so again thank you and have a nice day goodbye